Welcome to Networking Arizona with host Carol Blonder. You'll hear interviews with businesses located throughout the valley. Networking, it makes a difference. If I trade it in Welcome to the show, everyone. You know, I absolutely love what I do because I get to talk about everybody else on my show. And what I love about the show is that there is all this information with different people that come on that you get to hear. Maybe it's you or maybe it's someone that you know and you could share this information with. Uh, I am excited about bringing on my first guest. I have with me Darcy Bergen, and he's the owner of Bergen Financial Group. Welcome back to the show. You Thank Come you. on. We're going to do this monthly. Yeah. I mean, I'm really excited about this. And I want you to tell, first, everybody a little bit about yourself and you know what makes you different I really want to talk about that we're live on Facebook so I do want to say hi to everybody out there like us and follow us we'll share the show later on so first of all let's talk a little bit about you yeah well I'm, I'm 55 years old I'm from Canada I lived lived here uh, for 23 years now uh, three children two grandchildren two dogs beautiful Lo- wife beautiful wife um, I, um, I love to play pickleball she does too we like to try travel and we love what we do in our business life our financial planning group uh, the Bergen Financial Group we like to help people make a plan you've got to have a plan uh, it could be a retirement plan that would it w- could include a investment plan a tax plan uh, income plan a social security plan estate plan you know you've got to have a plan to, to make sure you're doing the right things at the right time. Right. It is all about timing for yeah. sure. And with you, absolutely. One of the things that you do is a complimentary, it's a what he calls a financial checkup. And we were going to talk yeah. a bit about that. And, you know, with Darcy, it's real laid back. Yeah. You know? I mean, we like to do the 15-minute phone call checkup because, it, you know, we're, we're relaxed on our phone and people can call in. They don't have to be intimidated by a financial planner and a boardroom and all that. But at 15 minutes, we can cover what are you doing from a tax perspective? Are you taking advantage of today's tax law because it does expire in a couple years? Are you set to when you're going to take Social Security? Maybe wife should take it early. Maybe husband take it late. Maybe both take it late. You know, you get 8% every year you delay Social Security more in income. So maybe you should delay. But maybe you should take it early. I don't know. You need, you need to look I at your plan. I think it depends. Yeah. That's where that conversation comes in. And sure. more, more than anything, everybody's situation is different. Yeah. Right? And you don't know until yeah. you do that. So it, he loves to do that, what he calls a, you know, it's a, a financial little call. It's a phone call. And he just loves to talk to you. That phone number to call is 480 Four three zero two three three seven. 2337 He's A-plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. His website is retirewithdarcy.com. You're also a fiduciary. I think it's important to mention it yeah. every time because it's big time Yeah, well, now. I mean, we're held to a higher standard for sure. Um, but I, think it, I don't think you can make being honest a law. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I think you just got to be do the right thing at the right time, whether you're held to that standard or not. Um, but retirewithdarcy.com, you can also go on there and get the book, the, my, my new book, and uh, some uh, some retirement guides. That, that's that's going to be helpful. Tell them about the book. Well, the book talks about what you need to do to get to retirement. So if you're going to travel, you punch your, your passport. To retire, I think you need to punch your retirement passport of, do I have my income plan right? Do I have my tax plan set up? Do I have my investment plan, my income plan? All those kind of things set up so when I retire, I can go do the what I want to do and have fun. We've also talked about second opinions. I just want to get it all out real quick, Darcy. Yeah. I know you're dying to talk about the stock market, which we're <laughs> going to do that. Sure. But I do want to talk about how, you know, because listen, when people are listening to people here like you, yeah. I mean, it gives them an opportunity yeah. to hear you, which yeah, is really important. I, I think people need a second opinion on a couple things. One is, are, am I paying too much in fees? Uh, you know, so, sometimes people are paying 2%, 2.5%, 1.5%. Maybe it's too much um, for what they're getting. Maybe a second opinion on that. Uh, a second opinion on, are you taking advantage of today's tax? Or are you converting to Roth from an IRA? Uh, maybe a second opinion on your 401k. Young people, you know, 40s and 50s maybe, are still buying those target funds in their 401k. I would please don't be putting money in a target fund. If you got 10 years away, you should be putting money in equity, long-term, mid-cap, large-cap. Closer retirement, 
you can do better than than a target fund. So maybe a second opinion on what you're doing in your 401k. Uh, and there's no charge for that. That phone number to call again, it's 480-430-2337. It's retirewithdarcy.com. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the stock market today. Yeah, you know, if I put money in the S&P 500 last year at this time, I'm up about 20%. The year before it was down about 22%. So over two years, you still lost a little bit of money, but last year was good. This year, we're off to a running start. We're up about 4% on the S&P 500 for January and and part of February. So that's good. Uh, But the Fed has changed their minds a couple times on what they're going to do with interest rates. A few weeks ago, they said, hey, we're going to drop interest rates over the next year, maybe six times. Well, people thought, you know, that's pretty good. When you drop interest rates, people have more money to spend because their cost of borrowing, it goes down. Like a mortgage, 7%, it's a lot. So when the Fed says we're going to drop interest rates six times, the stock market likes to hear that. It kind of goes up. And then recently they said, no, I think we'll only drop it three times. Okay, we're still going to drop it, but, you know, it's still okay. And then recently they said, we're going to postpone dropping it. So stock market had a little, you know, kind of a nervous uh, wreck there. And then, you know, it went down a little bit. And so here, here the problem with when the Fed says they're going to do something, a lot of times they don't do it. What if they decide inflation is still out of control and they raise rates, the stock market will go down big time. Bonds will go down. So I think you've got to be prepared that no matter what the Fed does short term, if you're in the stock market, we're going to ride it out maybe. But don't have everything in the stock market. Take advantage of interest rates on your safe money. So instead of buying a bond fund or a target fund that goes up and down in value, maybe buy a fixed annuity at 6% and lock it in for five years. I mean, I think it, rates are going to be down in a couple of years. You'll wish you would have locked in some money at 6%. I, ever since I've met you yeah. and you've been on the show, that's one of the things that you talk about the most. Doing it, timing is all, it's mm-hmm. it's all about the timing. Yeah. And we are in election year, yep, right? Yep. That should so, be good, yeah. Right, and that's going to have a lot to do with it. So when you say about the interest rates, I don't know if you have anything more to say about how they tie into one another, but uh, because uh, the interest rates have everything to do with about everything. everything yeah. right? I mean, so, so think about this. You know, can, the Fed um, owes about, the, the, the debt's $34 trillion. It's at 4%, but the budget shows a half a percent interest. They're, they're budgeting to pay half a percent, they're paying four. So my my belief is that you'll see interest rates go back down over the next couple years. Well, don't miss the boat. Take advantage of the high rates today and lock them in. Don't just put them in a Schwab money market account and earn 4%. Lock it in so that when the money markets go to zero, you still are making 5 6% on your, I call it safe money. You know, right. you don't want everything in the stock market. You want a little bit of both. So your stock market, ride it out. Your safe money, maybe lock in at high rates. I agree. I mean, there. Listen, I think a lot of people are just so they're nervous about everything right now, especially yeah. this year, right? Yeah. I mean, if you're nervous, you should then go back to the strategy of okay, how much should I have in the stock market percentage? Maybe fifty percent, and how much should I have safer so that I'm not so nervous if it goes down? And I asked you one time, and I and we're not, we're going to go to a break when we come back. Sure. We're going to tell them this because I always wonder why people don't just always want to have some safe money and. Not not just put all their eggs in one basket. Yeah, I think they don't <laughs> understand they can still make a good rate outside of the stock market. And, and you're right. If, if the market crashes and you're close to retirement, you're in big trouble. Right. You are. And you don't want to have that happen. So he can do a complimentary 15-minute. It's a financial checkup that he likes to do. He talks to you a little bit about what you're doing. Very just on the phone kind of thing. And uh, you, he also does second opinions. You could check him out on his website. It is retire with Darcy. Uh, His phone number is 480-430-2337 on the website, retirewithdarcy.com. You can also check out his book, which is the uh, Punch Your Retirement uh, Passport. I think I've memorized it by now. (laughs) You ought to check it out and and see, because it's a guide to help you get to retirement. Again, that's retirewithdarcy.com. Hang tight. We're going to be back in just a minute. When someone close to you passes, the grief can feel overwhelming. So when it comes time to make the necessary preparations for your loved one, you can rely on Angel Cremation and Burial in Mesa. Our caring and professional staff knows you're going through a lot, 
so we focus on helping you understand your options. You only pay for what you truly need. To learn more about our many cremation and funeral services, call 480-962-6435. 480-962-6435. Angelscremationandburial.com. Knowing every client is different, Anna von Strassenberg, CPA, PLLC, prides herself by offering ethical, accurate, and professional guidance when it comes to accounting, tax, and consulting services like tax return preparation, tax projections, proactive tax planning, IRS representation, QuickBooks, Pro Advisors, and more. For more information or to schedule a free consultation, call 480-964-4030. That's 480-964-4030. Services available year-round, ArizonaCPAs.com. For centuries, the use of medicinal leeches remains an integral part of treating disease and illnesses. Leeches are on the cusp for known health benefits, and they are constantly finding new discoveries based on thorough research about the positive effects of the substances medicinal leeches introduce into the body. Using only the highest quality medicinal leeches, Arizona Leech Therapy is here to help you find a natural, drug-free solution for your medical solutions. Learn more at ArizonaLeechTherapy.com or call 480-621-6041. Tired of paying high hourly fees when you need a plumber? With Cobra Plumbing, you get the same great service as the other guys, but to pay by the job, not the hour. So if you have a residential plumbing issue, don't wait. Call Cobra Plumbing today. Plus, our work is guaranteed. So call us today for your free estimate. Call 602-663-8432. That's 602-663-8432. To see a list of our complete service offerings, go to cobraplumbing.net. Do you ever play the lottery? If so, you can definitely increase your odds of winning by playing through a lottery pool. The ticket costs are shared, so you pay only pennies per ticket, yet you can still win millions. This unique service is offered by PowerPick, which has an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Check out this amazing deal. You can share in 105 tickets in Powerball, Pick, and Mega Millions for only $4.75. Go to easypooling.com, spelled E, the letter Z, then pooling.com. That's easypooling.com. Wow, everybody wants greater health, wealth, and happiness. We at Hypnotic One help everyone achieve that by eliminating your negative, unwanted, outdated habits and addictions in one to seven days and include a lifetime warranty. Now's the time to take control or eliminate drugs, alcohol, smoking, weight gain, stress, and depression. We at Hypnotic One make changing fast, fun. Call now, 602-547-0446. For a one-hour consultation and motivational CD, it is priceless and life-changing. If I traded it all, if I so welcome it back, all. everyone. And we're talking with Darcy Bergen, and he is the owner of Bergen Financial Group. And, you know, at the break, I love to talk to throughout uh, the show because we're live on Facebook, and you can actually put Networking Arizona into that Facebook bar. And guess what? You can watch us in here doing this uh, <laughs> live. It's really fun to do. Uh, and so we were talking a little bit about, you know, I asked you, what is the difference? between you know working with an independent financial yeah. advisor and someone who's not so an independent financial advisor typically it's their own business they're working for their client that's all they care about where you you go to a publicly traded firm like Wells Fargo Advisors or Morgan Stanley or Charles Schwab or Edward Jones you're, you're, you're dealing with an advisor that is being told what to do by by their uh, uh, higher ups and usually that is sell the securities that we tell you to sell stocks and bonds the the investments the fees and please don't talk about tax because you're not a cpa please don't talk about wills you're not a lawyer P you know please don't do social security you don't know enough about it just stick with the one pillar the investment plan right. whereas in independent we have to earn the right for the business so we generally will be well versed and have the tools to be able to tell when we should do Roth conversions and all those kind of other things. And that leads me to one of the big ones that independents do, and we're not the only one, there's lots, where we use a program that can measure risk. So if someone gave us their current statement of their IRAs and 401ks, we simply put it in the program and it tells us if we go into a bear market, which we do every couple of years, it'll tell us ex with a 95% probability of what their account will lose. And that's a very eye-opening thing for people. So look at that number. Is the, Do you need to take more risk? Or is that too much? And do we need to dial it down a little bit so you don't lose as much in a bear market? So it's all about how much can we lose emotionally before we blow up the plan? And, and that's the key is making sure we're 
have the right risk for the right person and and tailor make that that's right. a big difference i think that was why when you said emotionally handle i think this is really important for people to listen to because uh you know you might already be in the market and you might already have a, a portfolio again right now with all of the newness that's going on sure. and the changes uh, I think it's really important for you to be like you I think you like to talk to them and find out you can see where your clients are going to be yeah. and where they are willing to take more risk yeah. than not yeah I mean time I think you like them to all be a little bit of both <laughs> anyway I, I think I, I like to be a little more conservative because I don't like people getting upset with their statement they lost money you know but if you're five years from retirement that's not the time to be aggressive the time to be aggressive is when you're 30, 40, and early 50s. When you're five years away, no if way. the market loses 50%, you're going to have to lose it. Earn it you're going to have to. Takes work another time. five years yeah you know i mean it's just not worth it so we've got clients that just retire they've got 100 percent in equities and they go my my goodness i'm glad the market didn't crash because i'd be in big trouble so we want to make sure that risk is matched to the to your emotional makeup and your timing of when you're going to retire and for you you had said that you wanted to talk a little bit about balance right yep. and that i think that's kind of what we're talking about yeah. here too have the right balance of risk right for sure. and again i think for people who had just tuned in i ha i've asked you several times of why people you know uh will put their eggs in all in in one basket and maybe they don't know they right don't know there's something think, else out there yeah right and i also think that a lot of people what a, you don't know what you don't know i say that that's a, a great, lot on, yeah. on my show and it's yeah. so true because uh, you, you're you listening to this right now. You're listening to Darcy. And you're like, you know, yeah, that guy, it sounds like, you know, he's talking, he knows what he's talking about. And I want to feel safe, especially if I'm going into a, such a, a, a crazy year as we're going to be in. And everybody is holding on to right now. Um, yeah. Let's talk a little bit about that, too. Yeah, I mean, you know, our motto at our company, Bergen Financial Group, is helping you retire with confidence but confidence being if the stock market crashed i'm okay confidence meaning i turned social security on at the right time confidence meaning i converted iras to roth the right amount at the right time my income plan is fine i'm gonna i'm gonna live my i'm gonna live for a long time and money's gonna be fine so that's the that's the thing confidence comes through knowledge and planning absolutely and when you I don't know that. what you I don't know yeah, in our it is in our in our fifty minute phone call. Those are the kind of things we ask people that, when they call and say, "What are, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? What are you doing here?" And those answers tell us, okay, maybe we need to make some changes. His phone number is four eight zero four three zero two three three seven. He's A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau, and you can definitely see why. He's also the author of his book that you could check out at retirewithdarcy.com, and you can see him. You work state boy. If you have offices in Mesa, Scottsdale, Peoria, and um, I believe it's in like California yeah. somewhere too, San Diego, and yeah. San Diego, and you know, so he's everywhere that you can. He's conveniently located, right? And to also take the time, have that fifteen-minute phone call with him, and feel confident, feel confident about what you're doing. Have a second opinion. I think that's wonderful that you do that. Again, that number is four eight zero four three zero two three three seven. I want to talk about your five pillars yeah. because that's always really important because sure. I know you pro probably talk about this with everybody sure, you talk about. we do. Yeah, I mean, five pillars of financial planning, five pillars of retire with confidence is make sure everything's in order. So we want to have our retirement investment plan. We want to have the right amount of risk. We want to have an uh, income plan. Where are we taking money from? At what time in retirement? Are we going to take money from an IRA and then later turn on Social Security and later from a Roth? You know, those kind of questions. Tax planning. Are you converting to Roth from your IRA at the right amount at the right time? Um, this is big because the tax law we currently have expires in two years. So you've got to take advantage of today's rates. And then, of course, estate planning is important. That's part of the pillars. And then long-term care, health care and retirement, that's a, that's a part of that as well. Again, you could check him out on his website, which is 
is retirewithdarcy.com. His phone number is 480-430-2337. When people come in and sit down and talk to you, you know, what does that look like in terms of where they usually are at? I don't know if I've ever asked yeah. you that question It's before. interesting. You know, we have, we have people that come in and go, man, I've got all this money in cash. I'm not earning interest. I'm scared of the stock market. Well, man, there's lots you can do that's outside of the stock market where you can earn interest, at least start getting earnings. And then you've got people that have been in the stock market for 30 years and they're retiring and they go, oh my gosh, uh, maybe I'm a little overweighted to risk and, and we need to, you know, put a plan together there so there's those there's those two kind of polar opposites and, and there's a balance in there um, people with a 401k they just kind of blindly put money into whatever funds they're kind of choosing I think they need I think you should have some professional help with choosing what you're doing there because it's really important to take advantage of dollar cost averaging and a lot of people aren't doing that mm -hmm. and again I stay away from target funds I stay away from balance funds and bond funds because of the risk versus reward is not there so well you know there's a few things that we can help people if they if they want help right no and uh, it's so important I think listening to when you bring this up when people are uh, are at their jobs mm -hmm. right and they have a 401k and the HR department is telling them whatever to do sure. and maybe it's not really the best thing is to just listen to them yeah I mean I'll give you a really quick tip Love here. It. Tell me a 15 story. second tip here um, the money that you have in your 401k should be invested differently than the money you're adding. So you're adding every two weeks. You're buying. You're a buyer. You want to be all equities. Because if the market goes down, you're buying. It's the best thing to do as it goes down. So you want your deposits, your money you're putting every two weeks, to be in equities. Your principal of a million dollars, that would be foolish to have all that in equities. So what you have lump sum in there should be invested differently than the money that you're adding. Just a simple tip. Most people do the same. They, you got you to gotta step back and say, what am, what's actually happening here? You're buying every two weeks. That should be all equities. This is why you want to retire with Darcy. <laughs> and again, what his tagline is, is helping you retire with confidence. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah. And real quickly, just leaving them with the book, okay? Uh, when, you, when they're reading the book, it isn't a book that you're going to read from front to cover. Just really quickly, just tell them a little bit about that. So some people that are going to go up on the website and check it out real quickly. Yeah, it, it gives hints to what do I need to get ready for retirement? What, do, what steps do I need to take? What things do I need to think about? Uh, and it's not overly complicated. It's it's very easy read. And with, with the help of your own advisor or us, we can help you put into place the things, the strategies that we talk about in the book. Right. And you know what? You might be starting at a different point than other people. Sure. Right? Everyone's different. different right? Yep. And so the best thing to do is he, he loves to have that 15-minute financial checkup is what he likes to call that. He does financial, I'm sorry, he does second opinions also for everyone. He is a fiduciary and he is A-plus rated with a Better Business Bureau. He is statewide. He works statewide. He has offices in Mesa, Scottsdale, Peoria, and in California. Also, uh, you can check out his book. He would love for you to do that. And you can go to his website, which is retirewithdarcy.com. I, I implore everybody, it, when you're listening to these people, go up onto the website and check them out because that's how you're going to find out a lot more about them. And also, also, have, make that phone call and have that 10 minute, 15 minute phone call. And again, the, uh, the other thing that I want to do is say too, is if you, even if you already have somebody, listen to him because he's got, he does do second opinions. 480 430 